Yes, go. Everyone, my friend Wendy Crown, who was supposed to be here, wanted me to throw this into the sea to pay respect for the dives we've done. Originally, it was supposed to be done during the first. But of course, since we're near the end of this trip, better late than ever. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right, so Lou, toss it in. Dancing, right. right. Okay. Oh, goddess of the sea, muchos gracias for the wonderful dives you have blessed us with. Yay! Yay! Yay. Good job, Louis. The following video you're about to see is not endorsed nor sponsored by Dive Heart themselves. I made this video just to share my experience with this wonderful organization. Well, about my first boat dive, that actually came after I did my checkout shore dive last Sunday. And of course, during my first dive, it wasn't too good. I actually lost the whistle that came with my materials and the fish identification chart, which Tina Marie Hernandez gave me, but that was later replaced, and in the end, those dives still turned out to be one of the greatest dives I've done on the trip. As for my boat dive last Sunday, well, as for m the boat dives I had stated, they didn't come till later in the afternoon on Sunday, December 11th. Of course, during my first dive, I lost my fish identification slate, which I was given to by Tina Marie Hernandez herself, and the orange patty whistle that came with my studying materials. And then, after that dive was my fish identification specialty dive. Both dives are still amazing despite me losing my t materials. Rachel showed me how to identify a lot of things from sea urchins to sea turtles and even lionfish themselves. I wasn't able to get too many vi videos from most of my dives due to the fact I wasn't allowed to dive with my camera until my final boat dives, which you will see footage from. But in addition to that, well, since I wasn't able to get too much footage from my dives due to the fact I had to mainly focus on being a diver as Wendy wanted me to, I bring to you footage from my last two boat dives instead. However, I was also able to obtain footage from one of my dives shot by Tina Marie Hernandez, which you'll also see in this video too. So enjoy the videos that myself and Tina Marie shot on this trip. Well, I wasn't able to get video from my dives. Well, I was unable to get too much video from my dives due to the fact I had to study and focus on being a diver first, like controlling my buoyancy and, and such. However, I was able to get video from my last two boat dives, in addition to video from Tina Marie Hernandez, who shot video from one of the dives I was able to do with her and the others. So enjoy. Well, here's the moment you've been waiting for, the interview with the CEO of Dive Heart himself, Mr. Jim Elliott. I hope you enjoy it. Well, here's the moment you've been waiting for, everyone. My interview with Jim Elliott, the CEO of Dive Heart himself. When I was shooting this, I had to do it quickly because my iPhone was running low on battery. So here's the interview, everyone. Enjoy. Well, everyone... Here's the moment you've been waiting for. My interview with CEO Jim Elliott. I had to do this quickly due to the fact that my iPhone's battery was running low on power. So, enjoy. Well, I was only able to adapt. Well, I was only able to interview one fellow adaptive diver, and that's Nick Johnson. I was unable to interview others due to time constraints and... Some of them weren't interested in it. But here's my interview with Nick anyways. Enjoy, everyone. Well, I was only able to get video from my last two boat dives at the San Clement dive site. 
And Tina Marie Hernandez herself was also kindly nice enough to provide me with video of myself from this very same dive site. And of course, during the surface interval, I had to do a coin tossing ceremony, which is a tradition that my good friend Wendy Crown had started for years. Originally, it was supposed to be started during my first ever boat dive, but it was saved for the last instead. And I hope you enjoy all this. Well, on the final night of this trip, I, along with everyone else, had to explain our story of how we got involved with Dive Heart. And for me, I explained why I was on the trip and how I was able to turn it into this wonderful video that you are all watching. Here is my speech, everyone. Enjoy. Well, I do have additional footage shot by my mother on her iPhone. They are of when I got my introductory... Well, in addition to the footage that myself and Tina Marie shot with our cameras, my mother also managed to shoot some videos, too. She shot video of me during my introductory dive with Rachel, and then moments before I did my night dive with Rachel and Tina Marie, respectively. I hope you enjoy all this additional footage. Enjoy. Well... I have video to show you alongside what I shot and same thing with Tina Marie's. My mother was nice enough to shoot video moments before I was able to go down underwater for my night dive. Hope you enjoy it. The following clip you're about to see is not endorsed or sponsored by Dive Hard. I wanted to make this video just to share the experience I had. The following clip is not sponsored nor endorsed by Dive Hard. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to share the wonderful... The following video is not endorsed nor sponsored by Dive Hard. I just wanted to make this video so I could share the wonderful experience that I had with this wonderful organization. I have some video to show you of when I was getting ready to do my navigation dive with both Tina Marie and Rachel. And if you're wondering how that went, well... I did good. I had to practice on land first before doing it in the water. Rachel had me do 24 kicks while using the compass to navigate. And it was a lot of fun. And I also did this during my night dive too. So enjoy. I'd like to thank everyone for the hard work and the donations that went into me going on this trip. If it wasn't for you, I would never have been able to even shoot this video, let alone go on this trip with Dive Heart. And I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Well, about my first boat dive, that actually came after my checkout shore dive that I did with Tina Marie and Rachel. And it was my drift and fish identification dives, which unfortunately, during my first dive, I lost the fish identification chart that Tina Marie got for me to use for my fish identification course with Rachel. And the whistle that I got with my um, package that she had sent me to study. I actually got to do my first two boat dives, which were my first drift and fish identification dives after the checkout dive that I did with Wendy and Tina Marie, which you will see in this episode. But during the first dive, I lost the fish identification chart that I got from Tina Marie to use for the fish identification course with Rachel and the whistle that came with the materials for the courses I was taking for this trip. I hope you enjoy these videos, everyone. Well, originally I had thought I'd be doing boat dive. Well, originally I thought I would be doing boat diver on this trip, but it turns out that it wasn't true. But I got to do my first two boat dives after my checkout shore dive with Tina Marie and Rachel. Unfortunately, I lost the fish identification slate that Tina Marie gave me for the course with Rachel during my first dive along with the whistle that came with the materials that came with the book. Unfortunately, I thought I was doing boat diver, but turns out that wasn't the case at all. But I did get to do my 
two boat dives after my checkout shore dive with Tina Marie and Rachel. During my first dive, which was a drift dive, I unfortunately lost the fish identification slate that Tina Marie had given to me earlier that day to use for the fish identification course with Rachel and the whistle that came with the materials that Tina Marie had sent to me for the studying that I had to do for this trip. I hope you enjoy these clips, everyone. Well, here are clips of me preparing to do the night dive with both Tina Marie Hernandez and Rachel Crane. I hope you all enjoy these clips, everyone. Well, I have some clips from both of my final dives shot by myself and Miss Tina Marie Hernandez. I hope you enjoy these clips, everyone. Well, I have some additional clips shot by myself and Tina Marie. Well, everyone, here are the clips from my last two boat dives shot by both myself and Tina Marie Hernandez. Enjoy, everyone. Well, everyone, these are clips that I shot during my last two boat dives. I got to see a lot of amazing creatures, including some more eels, some nurse sharks, a grouper, and my longest ever dive on the trip that I'd done. Breaking the record of 39 minutes, which I had first done with Rachel. This is a sign that I will be able to stay down longer and do better and more efficient dives in the future. Enjoy, everyone. It turns out that the video that Tina Marie shot with me wasn't from my final two boat dives, but rather the two boat dives that I'd done the day before. I hope you enjoy these clips provided to me by her. Enjoy. Well, everyone, during the surface interval for my last two boat dives, I ended up doing a coin tossing ceremony, a tradition that was started by my friend Wendy Crown. Originally, we were supposed to do it. Well, originally, I was supposed to do a coin tossing ceremony that was originally started. Originally, I was supposed to do a coin tossing ceremony to start my first ever boat dive, a tradition that was started by my friend and mentor Wendy Crown, but because she was unable to do take. My friend Wendy Crown started a tradition of tossing coins into the sea for praying for good and successful dives, which, of course, I did it during my last two boat dives to thank the goddess of the sea for the wonderful dives that we were blessed with on the trip. The um, dive master Santos was nice enough to give me a pesos coin, which I ended up throwing into the sea, and Tina Marie was able to film it. Here's that moment when I did that coin tossing ceremony. Enjoy, everyone. Mm -hmm. 